Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today, we're gonna to talk about continuity mode on your multimeter. All right, so what is continuity mode? And more importantly, before we go anywhere else, how exactly do I get that to work on my multimeter? Well, um, there's different kinds of multimeters, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you on mine and then I'm gonna kinda of give you a little bit of extra information in case you have a different one than I do, okay? Um, I use the Fluke 115 here, all right? And you see right here, that little propagating wave, if we turn this to it, that's gonna put us in true continuity mode. Now, I say true continuity mode. True continuity mode is when your multimeter has a dedicated continuity mode function, okay? Now you see here on this one, it does have a dedicated true continuity mode function. But, like I said, not everybody has the same multimeter and this could get really confusing really quick if you're not quite sure how to get to it. So, if you don't have a dedicated true continuity mode, you would have something called a mixed mode multimeter, okay? now. A mixed mode multimeter is going to house the continuity mode in either the ohms resistance function or the diode mode function, okay? It uses those functions to be able to perform the continuity mode test, okay? Now, if that's the case and that's the kind of multimeter you have, go ahead and set the dial to whatever one houses the continuity mode and you should still see that little propagating wave there. And what you're probably gonna have to do there is there's probably gonna be a function button on your multimeter. Now. I don't personally have one of these, um, but whenever you hit the button, you should see on the screen that it's gonna change. Uh, you can actually see here on mine, I think a little bit better. All right, there we go. You see that little propagating wave there? It shows that I'm in continuity mode. Now, if you do have that mixed mode and you are in the mode, hit your function button until you see that little propagating wave show up on your screen. And I'm hoping that that's gonna help a majority of the people who have mixed mode multimeters get to that function um, so that we can continue and move forward. So once you have that, it's ready to go, all right? Now, once you're actually in continuity mode, it's kind of important to know how it works, okay? Continuity mode works based on the resistance in the line. As far as I understand it and as far as I've ever seen it, Usually around between 25 and 40 ohms is when the continuity mode activates. And when it activates, and you're gonna hear it here, I'll look at that big old wire mesh right there, that's the best. So I'm gonna touch these together and you're gonna hear a very, very familiar sound. Oh, I know you've heard that one before. Anybody who's watched anybody do word level work has heard that. That means there's continuity. Now. What is continuity? Continuity is basically continuance of a circuit. So if you had, let's say, one of those old school uh, little, little telephones you and your friend used to make when you were a kid with the little string in the middle, you know that if you talk into it, the person on the other end is going to be able to hear it. That's because there's continuity between the lines, okay? You know that one cup and the other cup are connected down the middle, okay? So that you hear that here. There's continuity between both probes. Now let me give you another example here in the microscope. All right, so we have two pieces of solder here. One of them has continuity and one of them does not have continuity. Now I know this seems so simple, but go ahead in your head, pick which one has continuity and which one doesn't. We're gonna go ahead and test these. Ooh. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test the bottom down here and we're gonna check it for continuity. In your head, you're gonna know. So I'm gonna to touch here and here. Well, look at that, it's beeping. That means it's got continuity, but we can see that. It's, it's super simple. You can see that the line is connected, okay? Now, let's go ahead and try the top end. And you can imagine both of these two pieces of solder here being two completely separate circuits, okay? So if we touch here and here, there's no beep. No beep at all because there's no continuity, okay? So now I'm gonna touch just this one. This end to this end. You can hear the beep again. It's got continuity. Let's try it one more time over here. Just like we thought, continuity. 
okay so now continuity mode it, that's about as simple as it gets there there's really no deep you know explanation on what continuity mode is and you know special functions of continuity mode anything like that you are checking to see if there's continuity or a continuance in a circuit okay continuity mode it's that simple so hey I really hope you learned something today in fact if you uh, liked the video go and hit right over down there and hit the like button and if you're not already subscribed and you want to start checking out all my stuff weekly just head on over to the other side and hit subscribe now if you are super about it and you want to learn everything that I'm trying to teach whoop, boom hit that notification bell alright it's really important that way every single time I upload something it pops up right on your phone your computer whatever you're doing alright and hey check it out maybe you have an opinion about what I'm doing right now or maybe you even used my technique on a repair and it worked for you. If any of these things apply to you or maybe you just want to say hi, hit me up with a comment. I love them. Seriously, I love the comments. They're my favorite. Every time I get one on my phone, I'm like, oh yeah. And if you are one of those people that is about to look me up on Instagram um, to ask me what equipment I use, well, guess what? I already got you. Don't even worry about it. Hit the description, boom, right down at the bottom has everything in a big old list. If there's something that I didn't put on there, then hit me up on Instagram, the phone god, check out my stuff, then hit me up and let me know what you need. And don't forget, I'm Justin, and this is The Art of Repair.